What's up you guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can actually make your very own starbucks coffee from home so i'm actually going to be using a couple of different products that we sell in our retail stores we're going to be using a french press you can buy this from starbucks for $19.95. And then we're actually gonna be using this pour over system right over there on your left side of the screen. She's gonna be using these Starbucks via instant coffee packets. They are for iced coffee, sweetened to be precise. So these are just a few things that we're gonna be using today to make some coffee straight from your house. All right, so the coffee that we're gonna be using today is the West Java that we offer in our stores. It is a medium roast. It comes from Asia. It says that it has hints of vanilla bean notes. And I actually haven't tasted this one yet. Ah. Okay, I got it open. God, it smells so good. What it calls for, it calls for two tablespoons of ground coffee for every six fluid ounces of hot water that you're using. Let's go ahead and pull out the grinder real quick. Let's ground this. Go ahead and just remove the top piece. Two scoops, so total, total of four tablespoons I'm adding with two scoops. Alrighty, so now that I have my 12 fluid ounces of hot water, I'm gonna go ahead and just add it in here real quick. Okay, so now all I gotta do is just put this little piece back up on here. So yeah, we gotta let that just sit for four minutes and then that's whenever we're able to push down. And yeah, and then we'll be able to pour it and test it out. All right, it's been four minutes. So um, it's time to go ahead and just push down this little lever right here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> sound like that okay we have just made some west java medium roast hot coffee and i've got my asl starbucks coffee cup right here ready for the pouring because i know asl hi how are you today let's go ahead and just pour some of that hot coffee up in here mm, smells good I didn't even know this, but we have white chocolate mocha creamer, which actually sounds freaking amazing. So I'm actually gonna try that out with my hot coffee today. Pour in some creamer because I do not like black coffee. Stir that bad boy up. Coffee brings us together. Mm, I would recommend the West Java, it's pretty good. And that, my friends, is how you make coffee with a French press. Alrighty guys, so now that we are done making a French press, we are going to try another way to make some hot coffee from home. This different way of making coffee is called making a pour over. So it's the same measurements as last time using a French press, uh, two tablespoons of coffee ground uh, for every six fluid ounces. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use one coffee filter. We're gonna go ahead and place it inside of here. You can get the coffee filter a little moist beforehand, but I don't like my coffee like that. I'm gonna go ahead and just only put two tablespoons Perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pour it all the way in here. Very slow process. But yeah, as you can see, it is pouring the coffee. It's gonna take some time. I'll say it's done. Doing a pour over, in my opinion, makes the coffee a little watered down. Um, even though I do put like 75% of cream inside of my coffees, it's scrumptious. Nothing like a caffeine addiction. Mm. You can smell the vanilla notes. So that, my friends, is how you make a pour over. Nothing crazy. Alrighty, last but not least, if you're not a hot coffee lover, like me, you probably like iced coffee. So at Starbucks, we sell via instant packets. So yeah, all it takes is just uh, 16 fluid ounces of cold water, pour the packet in, stir it, add some ice, creamer if you'd like. Alrighty, so we have our water inside. 
Let's go ahead and just break open one of these packets real quick. Add that in. Interesting. Let's go ahead and add some cream up in here. I have, I can explain, but um, we're just gonna have to use it for now. Add some ice cubes up in there. Go ahead and add some more cream at the top. Go ahead and add our nitro lid on top. And that, my friends, is how you make some good old sweet and nice coffee with our Starbucks Via Instant Packets. Holy cannoli. I give it a good 9 out of 10. Wow. I can hit the clubs with this. This is freaking amazing. Wow. Well, this was pretty interesting. I got to show you how to make some coffee a couple different ways from home so that you can avoid going out in public to go to Starbucks. The United States might run on the other competition, but just remember, the world runs on Starbucks, so... And yeah, that is pretty much it today, guys. If you want to, you can go and buy all these products in any Starbucks store across the United States and the world to be able to make your very own iced coffee or hot coffee of your choice at your very own home. Wait, wait, wait. Before you go, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, maybe even a comment. And if you want to, you can click that thumbnail on the left and it'll take you to my most recent video. See you next time.